uh, Crystal Selva with Shore Shade University. Uh, this video is going to be on disassembling an actuator uh, that has possibly been uh, had a disengaged internals from being over retracted. Uh, so we're going to start the video doing that. I do want to say please don't attempt this unless you have pre-approval from us to do so. Taking apart the actuator without that approval voids the warranty altogether. So please attain that approval from us before doing this procedure. Uh, this procedure will also follow PDFs that we have online for the disengaged drive uh, on the actuator. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to do is we want to pull the motor. Um, I've got a video on how to do that. The only thing you're going to need is a hammer, small chisel. You want to take a very blunt angle on it. Pop the cap off. Try not to pull on the wires because you don't want to pull them out of the motor. Next, we're going to take the screws out that hold the motor in. And again, the screws that hold the motor in are the screws that are closest to the black cap. Okay, we're going to set those aside. You'll want to grab a pair of needle nose. And be vice grips or regular needle nose and you want to grab the shaft on the motor and slide the motor out. Okay, set the motor aside. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to remove this set screw that's in the top of the large tube that holds the collar in. Okay, you want to make sure you don't misplace these. Set them all somewhere where you know uh, you're not going to lose them. Okay, next step, <clears throat> we're going to want to remove the screws that hold the bearing assembly in, which are these here. They're the same size as the ones for the motors, as you can see, so you can mix them up. It's not going to change anything on you. tube will bounce out, you can grab it, set it up straight, slide the tube assembly out, okay? Then what you do is just set your tube aside, and here's what you have, your seal on your collar. We're going to just take this, work it off, set it there, now we've got the two tubes here. Now what we're going to do, <clears throat> and it's, a, it's kind of a greasy mess guys, so make sure you have a lot of a lot of rags handy. I'm going to prop this up a little bit. Now, in a case where your actuator has been over retracted, I want to demonstrate, I want to show something to you. This flywheel here and this bearing assembly, if it's been over retracted like this one has been, do you see where this grease here has printed off of here. So in other words, these two units have been screwed all the way together where this has been locked up to that. Then when it was undone, pulled it apart, giving it like that little kissed grease look where it's pulled the grease apart. So that's a telltale of whether this has been over retracted and it has been. So in this case, that shows the fact that it's been over retracted. So we're gonna continue with the disassembly. Uh, the gear hasn't been disengaged, so it must have been a very light touch and then uh, set back to the way it normally is. If it's been over retracted, the other uh, giveaway is this collar is generally pushed off the end of this uh, pinch bolt, and this is just freely turning. So that's not the case in here. Okay, next step, you're gonna take your two sleeves here. These will come apart. Let me grab another rag. Or actually, I'll just grab this. These are what center it up inside the tube. You're going to see that they're kind of rough cut on both sides. They do match each other, so make sure you keep them the same way. You don't want to mix and match these and turn them. So we're just going to set these aside uh, the way they go back in and leave them there. Okay. Next step, we're going to take this screw that holds this middle tube into the bearing housing. Okay. 
key part to remember with this is these screws that hold the stainless steel tubes in are different lengths. This one is longer than the one that goes in the small tube. So you have to make sure you don't mix and match these because if you stick the longer screw in the smaller tube, you will hit the worm gear inside. So you want to make sure you get them right. Bigger screw, bigger tube. Easy way to remember. Okay, so what we've got is we've now got this collar slid off the end of the tube and we've got the internal tube loose. This one was a little bit of a pain because this tube is actually bent. So um, we've got it out now. Again, we're going to remove our spacer, making sure we keep the halves in the same orientation, and we'll set them with the other one. Okay, so here's what we've got left. We're going to slide this tube out, and as you can see, see the bend in that? So this one has been uh, kind of abused a little bit, so we're going to have to replace that tube. The middle tube seems to be okay, but this one definitely has to be replaced. So now what we're going to do is we're going to remove this screw here and as you can see like I said earlier they are two different size screws smaller one goes in the smallest tube the bigger one goes in the larger middle tube okay please make sure you put those back in the right way otherwise you can see how close you are to the worm gear that longer screw will bottom out on the worm gear okay now we're ready, have a rag handy because this is a greasy mess, and you're going to slide your tube out. So now this tube is going to have to be replaced, and now you have your worm gear drive assembly, okay? You don't want to wipe the grease off. What you will see, depending on how old the actuator is, as you can see, this grease is no longer red. It's got kind of a gold brown color, perfectly normal. That's uh, your brass nut going in and out on the worm gear, depositing a little bit of metal materials in the, uh, in the grease. It's perfectly normal. There's nothing wrong with it, nothing to be concerned about. Um, what I want to show you real quick is in this, I'll wipe this down, and then we're going to go over how you would normally fix an over retracted disengaged worm gear okay normally what would uh, what would transpire is you guys would have this flywheel normally this this collar would be pushed off the end of the tube and you would have this uh, assembly here Okay, we're going to crack that pinch bolt loose. And there's also internally inside there a little set screw. Again, normally that will have walked its way out or broken off if it's been over retracted. Okay, so that's loose. What you'll see is still a little bit more. This actually fits inside of a drilled hole. There we go. So you can see your set screw goes inside that drilled hole right there. So it's not meant to hold this on, it's just meant to locate it like a locating pin and then your pinch bolt holds it onto the shaft. So you'll want to take this aside, your grooved side goes face down. There is a washer here that needs to come off and it needs to stay with the unit. Okay, a little thin washer. So let's set those together. Now you have your flywheel and again normally in an over retracted case this would be off the end of the shaft. Okay, it's pressed on. If it's not damaged and the bearing, if you can see the bearing that's in here is seated flush with the face of this flywheel, that's the way it needs to be. In this case it is and the flywheel is still on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and reassemble 
this unit, normally what would have to happen is you would have to put this on a press, press the bearing back in flush, then put this on the end of the shaft, making sure your grooves are facing up, and then press this back on the end of the shaft. You can do it out in the field if you've got a, a tall socket that'll fit over the end of the shaft. You can put it up straight and tap it with the socket. It's not a real pressed fit, it's just real tight. Then once you get that on, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come back here, you're gonna grab your washer, okay? Put your washer back on. You're gonna grab your collar. You're gonna line your locating bolt up. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna tighten this down. See how it still turns a little bit? Just keep tightening up until it stops turning which is like that, okay? Then you're gonna grab your Allen and tighten up your pinch bolt. Okay? Doesn't have to be super tight, it's just meant to hold it on there. Again, if it's operated, if the unit's operated correctly, there shouldn't be much pressure on there to hold that on. Make sure your flywheel spins freely, okay? You wanna make sure that your plastic centering collar is about an inch from the end of the threaded rod here sometimes when it's been over retracted or vice versa over extended this can either be off the end or all the way up here you want to make sure it's about an inch from the end of your threaded rod your worm gear okay next step we're going to get our internal measurements set <clears throat> these measurements are where you get your one inch and two inch dimensions when it's all assembled and you have a complete actuator. So this measurement right here between the top of the bearing assembly and the flywheel needs to be an inch and then it needs to be two inches, two and an eighth here. Okay, so we're gonna check this. So as you can see, we're not quite there. Now what happens is you don't turn this because it's not gonna go anywhere. You're just gonna turn your bearing assembly and you can see how that turns that one gear. So we're going to do that until we get our one inch measurement. Okay? So we're good there. This measurement needs to be two inches. Not quite. Okay? So now we're at two inches. So right now this is set to go back in the tube, okay? So now what we'll do is, we would normally, this one being bent, I can't put it back in here, you would normally lower this down inside the tube, and you're gonna put your, you don't wanna do that either. You're gonna put your small screw back in, in your collar, in your tube, the smallest one. Then you're gonna slide the whole assembly into the middle tube, and you're gonna put your longer screw into your collar assembly here, and then you're gonna slide it in. It's just vice versa the way you took it apart, okay? Uh, that pretty much goes over the worm gear if it's been disengaged internally here because of it being over retracted. I right, thank you for your time. If you guys have any questions, um, we have a PDF that goes over all this on the website. You can find that same, go to uh, SureShape.com, go to the service tab, you can see the PDF or review the video. I encourage you to do both. If you have any questions after that, feel free to give us a call. Thank you.